Hi guys, welcome to the Ministry of Food. I'm going to give you a beautiful, quick 10 minute meal. Uh, it really is that quick, it's delicious, perfect for when you get home from work, you're knackered, you want to eat something proper, something tasty, and something that's not going to take like an hour, half an hour, okay? So brilliant. You can get this done on the plate for about three quid uh, with RSPCA approved salmon. So all round, bit of a bonus. Um, it's salmon tikka with cucumber yogurt and naan bread. I'm going to take you through this dish. Um, it all happens pretty quick, but it's not hard, and I'll give you the critical points, and I'm sure you'll be cooking this brilliantly and teaching it brilliantly too. Right, let's crack on. Large pan on a medium heat. Now, dead simple. I've got some naan breads here. To be honest, the best ones to get, obviously from a curry house, but you can get them pre-made uh, from the supermarket. They come in packs of two or four, and if you reheat them, you know, they kind of come back to life. So you can reheat it in a pan like this for about 35 seconds on each side, a minute on each side, uh, or you can pop it in the oven, or even pop it in a toaster, okay? So I'm gonna pop these in the oven. And literally, all they need is like four minutes just to come back and be beautiful. Pan's getting hot. I've got my salmon here. Now, salmon, you can get organic, you can get RSPCA Freedom Food, or you can get basics uh, cheaper. Um, you choose. Um, but when you get your salmon portion, cut it into three, just like this. I'm using a sharp knife, and I've got it skin side down. And just take the time to use the length of the knife to give yourself a little slither like that. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is because it's just over a centimetre thick, it's going to cook in literally minutes, none of this 15 minutes malarkey. So I'm going to get my knife into the salmon, use long movements like this, right, don't hack at it, long movements, and then push the knife down so you get through that skin, right, and just take care of it and get those beautiful little slithers like that. What I want to do is I want to flavour this beautiful salmon with tikka paste. If you go and get yourself some of this tandoori paste, um, it's in all the supermarkets. Basically, get yourself a teaspoon like this. You literally only need a couple of teaspoons and you're gonna rub it. I mean, frankly, let's just get two teaspoons on here. Put it on there like that. Just use your hands to smear this over the salmon, right, on all sides, right? So get your hands involved. You can use a brush or a spoon if you want, but it'll just take forever. Rub it all over like that. There you go. I'm going to place this into the pan. Now you can put a little bit of olive oil if you want, or you can put it dry. The reason you can get away with putting it dry is because salmon has got a fair bit of natural oil in it. And the curry paste is going to allow it to sort of go reasonably dark. Almost, you might see it as, as, as looking burnt or black, but it's going to go naturally dark. So, while that's just frying, I want to make uh, a cucumber yogurt. Cucumber yogurt, don't turn your nose up at it if you haven't tried it before. The idea is you've got something fresh, yogurt, uh, and crunchy, the cucumber, and we're going to put some coriander in there as well. That, in contrast with the spice and the hot bread, is brilliant. So, I'm going to get a spoon of this, about two or three, let's see, four tablespoons of yogurt. I'm going to get my cucumber here, and I'm just going to slice it in half, like that, and then I'm going to slice the half in half, so you've got quarters. You can kind of do it any way that you fancy. I'm just going to slice it. Take your time. Some people like to peel the cucumber and remove the seeds, and really that's just about uh, taking away the kind of not so nice bits to eat and, and so it's nice and crunchy and lovely uh, if you can't be bothered I haven't done it here it's not a deal breaker let's check this fish this has been cooking for about two minutes put it under gently and turn it over gently see that little bit of colour that's what we want got that tikka vibe going it's all frying nicely there you go that's what we're looking for don't panic you know just turn it over gently And it looks like it's almost a tiny bit burnt, but that's, that's good. That's the kind of tikka vibe. While that's finishing, I want to take half of this cucumber and put it to one side. And half, I'm just going to run my knife through just to break it up a little bit more. And I'm going to sweep that into the yoghurt. So just literally bring the board, just literally bring the board to the edge and pull the cucumber into there. Now, what we've got to do now with this is turn it into something really exciting and tasty. 
So I'm going to slice this lemon in half. I'm going to squeeze about a quarter of that juice into there. I'll have a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. Now I've got this coriander here. Some people love it, some people hate it. Give it a try. Uh, if not, mint is a wicked, wicked replacement. Now these stalks, don't throw them away. What I'm going to do is keep these leaves, just literally pull them off like that. And then these stalks here, we don't want to waste that. You've given them a wash, just slice them up. If your knife skills are rubbish, just put your hand flat like this and just rock the knife like that so that your hands are nice and safe. This fish is done now, so I'm going to take it off the heat, turn it off. Right, so get yourself some naan breads. You should probably use tongs or a cloth, but I've got asbestos hands. Right, so let's plate this up. We've got lovely hot naan bread in the middle. Okay, not to the side, in the middle. When I plate this up, what I try and do, I mean, look, you can bang it on if you want. It all goes down the same hole. Uh, or just try and lay it one over each other in no particular fashion. I want to put these coriander stalks here in the yoghurt, like that. Stir that up. And then you just put a nice spoon of that over the fish. Don't cover the whole fish, just right in the middle. Same with the other one. And the reason I love this, I mean look, this, this, this meal ain't going to change the world, but it's quick, it's tasty, it's got lovely fresh ingredients in it. A few cucumbers, you know, just round and about to be fresh. Some coriander on top, literally, leaves like that. Just go with it and, and give, it, give it a go. If you don't like it, you can take it out or swap it for mint, or even basil, actually. Um, and then I, what I do is I just finish it with some nice extra virgin olive oil, and I've forgotten my best friend, chilli, right? I literally just put my chilli over that. A 10-minute meal. Hope you like it. Good luck. And don't forget, pass it on.